Oh yeah, back over the woods again. Um, I've been tapping some birch sap off some birch trees. Um, what you can do is, is, is a sort of a short window, it's just before the beginning of spring and the end of winter, just before the birch actually pushes its sap up to the leaves. Um, in this time, you can actually tap some of the sap off it, and it's, you, I mean, it's, you can use it like as a water, it's quite a sugary taste to it, obviously a little bit of an earthy, woodlandy taste too. Um, but yeah, if, if you tap it in this sort of time, you're okay, but anything after that then, you know, you're risking hurting the actual tree because it's, it's sent most of the sap up to its leaves by that time, to produce the leaves. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you what I'm up to. So what, I, what I've done here, to do this here, I've uh, jammed a knife into the, the tree, uh, stuck a little bit of wood in it, and you can see it's dripping now. And that drip down into just a water bottle which I've uh, lash to um, the tree with some paracord. Yeah, this is a, it's okay to do this. You've got a like, little short window, which just goes to show that nature does sort of provide for you. Um, you know, you look after nature and it wouldn't look after you. It's, it's about going by what's happening there and then. You know, the seasons, follow the seasons. You can't go wrong. Uh, if you took it at different times of the year, it killed a tree. So, you know, you've got that little short window. So you make the most of it while you can. I think that's what foraging and sort of woodland sort of activities is all about, is knowing when and where. All right, I'll come back to you in about an hour when it should, well, roughly an hour it should have filled up by then.